Sheen Shop. Yeah, boy. Hey guys, welcome back to another Outward video. Today, we're talking about a pretty fun topic that I'm covering mostly because it's interesting to say the least. Outward has a mode called Debug Mode, which is essentially used to test items and mechanics in the game. They released it for various reasons, one being that it can help you get unstuck if you fall into a weird rock or something. It's only possible to use this on PC, and it 100% breaks the immersion. However, there are a few items that were created but never added into the game, and I really want to show them off, because at least two of them are kind of funny. So here are five items you can't get in Outward. Yes, they, for some reason, created a fidget spinner that functions as a chakram. It's really nothing special in terms of damage or impact, but it does look really goofy. Chakrams spin while not being used, simulating a real fidget spinner, and the model really does hold up well. You can use the chakram skills with it just like normal, and really everything about it works like if it were in the game. Kind of a funny idea to play with, but probably wasn't added since well, it doesn't fit in this game here at all. At the end of the day, it's pretty useless, since there are much better chakrams in Outward, and you can only find it in debug mode. But don't tell me it doesn't look even a little bit funny as I fling a fidget spinner at an immaculate. There's a unique boss in Outward called Calixa, and she's a pretty tanky enemy. She'll fight you with a mace that does a lot of impact while also letting her shoot two bullets at you. Unfortunately, her weapon can't shoot anything, but it can be used as a mace. Oh, and did I mention it is completely overpowered? This thing does damage in every element without any physical. It has this sort of elemental effect on impact that looks really cool, but it shreds enemy health insanely fast as well. On top of that, it has 80 impact, which lets you knock back enemies in basically one hit. It's a very fast weapon, and I walked through the swamp basically hammering enemies without any difficulty. It looks a bit goofy, while also cool at the same time, as it is a longer barreled gun with spikes on the end. The Calixa Mace Gun is nuts, and it sort of makes sense now how hard she is to take down. There's honestly nothing overpowered about the Ghost Sword, but it's a Ghost Sword, making it pretty cool. This item deals pure ethereal damage, making it great for fighting ghosts. Things like Gep's Blade or the Dreamer Halberd are still better than it, but I had some fun swinging this thing around. Kind of feels like this could have been a neat item to get from a side quest or something. Maybe if you solve a series of puzzles set up by a ghost, you could get his long lost blade. We already have the Runic Blade, which functions better mechanically, but it would have been fun to see another option like this in the game. There's a full set of armor in Outward that lets you look like a ghost, and it's pretty epic. No, it does not have any good stats at all, but you get glowing red eyes instead. Imagine if this stuff allowed you to phase through walls or something. It would really change the way you play Outward and actually give you a reason to carry it with you. Ultimately, not an option for us, as it was never implemented, but still pretty neat to think about the possibilities. The test weapon of Doom is the single strongest item ever created in Outward. It deals 10,000 raw damage, making it impossible to protect against. It also has high impact and the fastest attack speed in the game. I kid you not, you can walk around one hitting almost every single enemy in the game including some bosses. Some enemies like Calixa take multiple hits, which is actually insane when you think about how much damage you're really hitting her with. It's safe to say this weapon was created to test things, as no one should ever have this much power. I can tell you this definitely went to my head, as I was just executing every single thing that came across my way. Embarrassing unique arena bosses without any buffs on, and overall being a real threat to the game itself. Another cool detail about this weapon is that it has a copied skin from the Sar Sword. Sar weapons are supposed to be the strongest physical damaging weapons in Outward, making me wonder, what if all Sar weapons were this strong? So there you have it, five items that you can't 
get an outward. And each one is pretty cool. Do not take this video seriously in any way, as you can't use any of these in the game. I just thought it might be fun to show off, and can you really blame me for wanting to one-shot as many enemies as I could? Outward is reasonably balanced, and these items are pretty cool because they completely break that balance without any extra skills or stats on your character. Don't forget to like the video and comment down below which of these items you would have liked to see in the game. I still keep picturing a build that uses the fidget spinner for a chakra, and I can't imagine how weird that would look. Thanks for watching the video, and I will catch you next time.